Okay, so uh, we just finished the morning session. I thought I'd uh, take the time to start adding stuff to this webinar. No, so the first thing I'm going to do is go through um, go through the sort of functional movement screen, go through the uh, overhead squat. Uh, now the thing about screening is the same about uh, the same thing I sort of say about assessment is it has to be it has to be consistent. Um, you have to do it the same way all the time. So I've seen people do screenings where they've, they've screened athletes before uh, training, they've come back sort of six weeks later, they've screened them after they've done a session and, and been amazed at the improvement they've had. But of course you're going to be better after you've, uh, after you've warmed up uh, or after you've done some, done, done some activity. So it has to be the same each time. The other thing, I, uh, screening is one of these things that sort of seems to have gone in and out of fashion. Uh, not with the people who, who do it all the time, but say with 90% of, sort of, 90 of coaches where it, uh, it becomes all the rage and all of a sudden it sort of disappears off the, off the, off the radar. Um, I, do it, I don't do it all the time. Uh, if, if I see things, I, I mean, I'm a big one for sort of, you know, what I call critical observation. So you're, you're watching athletes sort of train and if I, if I see things that I think are an issue, um, it, you know, some left-right imbalances, you know, squatting or... Um, you know, some sort of restriction. Um, yeah, it doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter what it is. It's, it's things you see. You know when you see something that doesn't, doesn't look right as a coach or, or, you, or you need to develop uh, that ability to, 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 to see things that, uh, that don't look right or, or, or are uh, anomalies or sort of the things that are asymmetrical sort of with athletes. Uh, and then I might screen them. I won't screen... I'm not going to screen 350 athletes that I'm writing programs for. I, you know, and I'm not going to do it every six weeks. Okay, it takes me sort of 30 minutes to an hour to, 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 to do a proper, uh, a proper full screening. It, it, it's completely unrealistic. Um, it's fine if you're riding on the internet and you only have uh, three clients. You can, you, can screen them. you can screen them every three weeks, but if you actually work for a living, um, it's, it's, a, it's pretty much impossible to, to, to screen, screen properly and do it all the time. The other thing people do is people do screening uh, and they do a rubbish screening. They get an overhead squat, inline lunge, bang, 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 give them their points, and, and that's all well and good. That's not, that's not a screening. Um, with the overhead squat, um, I usually actually use a, use a piece of dowel, like use a broomstick, or, or actually I use the, use the band, because with the shoulder restriction part of it, or the thoracic part of it, I want to see um, how much movement there is in the, uh, in the band, and you don't see that. Uh, with a bar, I'm just going to use a normal, uh, normal Olympic bar. So I'll do it from the side, and I'll do it uh, from the front. So head up, chest up. <coughs> Squatting down and up. So I've got a few things wrong with me, mainly because of injuries and accidents. So I try and keep on on top of them. We'll go through those. So what I'm looking for, keeping the bar uh, directly over the centre of gravity, looking for sort of forward, uh, forward movement of the bar, keeping the torso pretty much uh, parallel with the, with the tibia or, or slightly more towards, uh, towards vertical. I want to see people get their hips, they crease their hip below their knee, so ask the grass, uh, as they say. Um, from the top up, we're looking for, first of all, that ankle restriction. Um, I'm watching their feet uh, to look to see how much sort of rotation uh, there is, uh, how much external rotation uh, there is, or whether they can keep their feet quite steady. Looking at the knees, uh, looking for how much travel they are, see if they keep, how much travel there is, see if they keep straight over the toes, or whether they're, they're, they're going out or going in. Uh, looking for restriction in the hip, um, looking for restriction in the back, uh, thoracic spine and the, and the shoulder. Um, the, the problem most people have um, when they're screening is, that, is they don't do it consistently. I always do it the same way. I always just sort of say, you know, we're going to overhead squat, bar overhead, um, going to go to the bottom and come up. Let them do it however they, they think they need to do it uh, initially. Uh, let them do it a couple of times, look at them from the side, look at them from the front, see what's obvious. Uh, and then I actually tell them exactly how I uh, how I want it done, uh, and see whether there there are problems that, that, like the ones that I first saw, 
or whether whether it's just a coaching issue, whether when, once I get them in the right position and tell them exactly what they do, see whether they can do it, uh, and then do it again. Uh, then identify the problems, and then I try and correct them. So if I get a lot of external rotation, I'll say, sort of keep your feet straight, see if I can out-coach the screen, see if I can get through it that way. Um, so that's essentially an overhead squat, and I'm going to write uh, more about it, so I'll leave it at that.